Hello and welcome back to another episode of Living With an E36 M3, proudly sponsored by VOTB, where you can win yourselves your dream ride for the price of one of those awesome bottles of candy up, which is something that I'm very much looking forward to sampling later. Now, if you're wondering why I'm on the Euro Tunnel, that's because I'm taking my E36 M3 all the way from my place in West London, across the channel to Calais, and down to Bonlieu in the Jura region of France. I'll then be coming straight back the next day, amassing 1182 miles in two days. And the purpose of the trip is to find out how good Colin is long distance, how comfortable, how nice and how smooth, and mainly just to find out if Colin's gonna make it there and back. We're also gonna bring back a, a kayak with us, which is gonna be super awesome. Let's do a thousand miles in two days. Ethan and I have been travelling for 20 minutes and I must say I'm really enjoying your company. It's it's really, really good. You took us wrong. Yeah. You took us wrong. Well, the reason. motorway, the motorway was closed, so it was a deviation and then something... You made it worse. I made it worse. So we're now heading back to Calais and now we've got ways on the go which will help get us back the right way. Right, time for some fuel now. We have 78 miles left in the tank. And we have been doing an average 75 miles an hour, which is about 120 kilometers per hour, 23.8 MPG. And that is with cruise control on. And obviously it's a little bit skewed because we've got the uh, roof bars and a bit of weight in the car. Candy up. Would you have a, a candy up and party? I would. Get all my friends, get a bowl. We'd all put our keys in the bowl and then drink candy up. Thoughts on Colin so far? The fan is working, which is good. The arches have been skimmed and made thinner because they were rubbing before a lot so the wheel can now actually go into the wheel arch which is nice but it's still rubbing on that right side and that's a thing that all e36s seem to have got a bit of a wheel bearing noise i think it's coming from the front don't know if you guys can hear that bit of a hum so hopefully uh the wheel won't fall off mid journey because that would really suck now what i'm going to do is I'm going to travel at 75 miles an hour and not use cruise control and see how much of a difference that makes. What are your genuine thoughts to this car? Did you know about this car before I bought it? Has your opinion changed on it? Uh, would you buy one? No, I wouldn't buy one. For what reason? I don't think this series has been a great advert for one with the amount of effort, work and money you've had to put into it. It's been a lot of money. Yeah. If you want a project car, get yeah. an MP36 M3. Yeah, really do. Before, I was using cruise control at 75 miles an hour, 120 kilometres an hour. Um, and I was getting, what was it, 23.8 mpg. Yeah. I've now been driving, reset everything, now been driving without cruise control, 75 miles an hour, 120 kilometers an hour, to see if there is a difference in fuel economy. That's the first one. Cruise control, 75 miles an hour. And this is no cruise control, 75 miles an hour. 25 mpg from not using cruise control. That's not bad going. So I think from now on, no cruise control. Colin, 
is keeping temperature, oil, water, everything good. Uh, half a tank and it's telling me we've got about 200 miles left. So that would give me an estimated, I suppose, range of 400 miles per tank, which in an M3 isn't too bad. <laughs> We are now 58 minutes away from our destination, driving all day, the rain has finally stopped, it's pretty much pitch black now, and Colin My Lemon is marching on happily. We're cruising at 70 miles an hour, which is about 110 kilometers an hour, and uh, yeah, loving life, my back is pretty ruined. But yeah, no new rattles, no new squeaks, everything you might be able to hear now has been going since we left. So we've made it to our destination of Bonlieu, some 650 miles. Uh, I'm pretty ruined. I know Ethan's quite ruined. I think Colin is also fairly ruined, so he needs a good sleep. Uh, so we're going to have some steak and maybe a couple of beers. And we'll see you guys in the morning. <gasps> yeah, I'm too tired. It is day two, it is quarter to nine in the morning and you can see behind me, Colin has been resting up. It is raining harder than it has ever rained in the world ever. And I'm about to go and put the kayak on the car and then we're gonna go drive back to Calais and hope that nothing goes wrong, especially with the wheel bearing. That's better. There we go. Nah, that's very secure. Ish. A paddle will go in nicely. One of the seats is folded down. And there you have it. The kayak has been put onto Colin like a professional. And now it is time to go home, hopefully. Before we racked up hundreds more motorway miles, I had my first opportunity to sample some of the Jura region's amazing roads, at which point I started to get quite frustrated with my M3. I'm really getting annoyed. I haven't had, I haven't had a week where this car has been 100% perfect. I bought it not 100% perfect, but as stuff has been getting fixed, more stuff has been breaking, and now I find myself 672 kilometers from Calais, then another two hours to get home, with a wheel bearing that's buggered, with a diff that's playing up, and also I've got another kind of bearing noise coming from the front of the engine again. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it is extremely frustrating, and living with a car like this is not easy. If you want to use this as a daily and if you want to rely on it, then you will have a very tough time, as I have been finding out. So I've been doing all the hard work for you guys, speaking to, and the scraping as well. feeling? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of bored. I'm really bored as well. I'm really tired. I was tired. 
But now talking this, makes me feel better. This car isn't. It isn't what? Doing enough to keep me entertained. Less than four hours though, we're on the home straight. Don't say that. We are 57 minutes away from Calais, which means that Colin hasn't broken down. Yeah! Good job, Colin. The wheel bearing still holding up. The engine, I will say this for BMW engines, they are bulletproof. The only thing that goes wrong is everything around them. So cooling, um, wheel bearings, bearings in general, just everything else goes wrong. But uh, BMW engines, rock solid. Solid as a rock. And um, as you can see, I am in a bit of a state of delirium because I'm quite tired, fairly bored, and um, yeah, my blood sugar levels have uh, perked up. I think that's all to do with candy up. It's finally kicked in. I am back on the Euro Tunnel. Behind me is Colin, my M3 Lemon, which means one thing, he has made it, my magnificent Lemon, 1,200 miles from London to Jura and Jura to Calais. So we are almost home. And uh, yeah, Colin hasn't really set a foot wrong. I need to check on the wheel bearing. I need to check on the diff and a couple of other little bits that I'm not going to worry about now, but I am super stoked. Colin deserves a hug and a kiss. Mwah. Well done, my old friend and we are very, very close to home. Someone who is not on the Euro Tunnel, however, is Christian from BOTB. He's at Rockingham. Get in! Hey everyone, Christian from BOTB here, and today we're having a blast at Rockingham Motor Speedway in a bunch of very cool cars like this, Focus RS. Now, if you fancy winning your dream car, you need to sign up at BOTB.com right now, and we're giving away £250 worth of tickets at the end of every Living with an E36 episode. Just follow the instructions in the video description below. This week's episode winner is Jack Harley. Congratulations, Jack. Best of luck to all of you next time. <laughs> Why do you do this to me, my lemon? As you can see, um, this used to be my fan. That uh, used to be attached to my viscous coupling, which I fixed yesterday. And then it unfixed itself.